Hi everybody, this is Dr. Jason Newcomer. Uh, just quickly want to take a minute to explain uh, some quick tactics on how to map and find literature uh, when conducting literature reviews. Uh, some of my grad students in, in previous classes have struggled after they finally get over the hurdle of narrowing down a topic, uh, then they try to find literature so exact and specific to that topic that they feel like they can't find anything. So hopefully this presentation will help researchers understand uh, how to expand the horizon when it comes to the literature review and how to map it out ahead of time and different resources you can use to find some of that literature. With any research project, the first thing you start with is the actual problem. So in this example, the problem is the impact of poor leadership development programs on U.S. Air Force officer performance. Once we've defined our problem, now we need to start reviewing literature to understand that problem in more depth. And this is important because to make a case at the end of our study, we're going to go out and we're going to collect data, we're going to present findings, and we're going to make recommendations, and we're going to come to conclusions based on what we found. And to be able to do that and, and be valid and credible, you have to have done the research to show that you understand what you're talking about. So for this simple example, we're only going to use three three level two headings underneath our problem. We're going to talk about leader impact so we can explain how leaders are important to organizations. We're going to talk about the elements of a leadership development program if done properly and what that program should look like. And then we're going to go into ways that we can assess our program to make sure it's developing leaders that meet strategic needs of the organization. For our first level two heading, uh, we might talk about some of the things that make leaders important to organizations and we can focus on the functions of a leader so motivating employees developing strategic direction for the organization managing resources these would all be things that we can explain functions that leaders perform and how important they are to the organization which is why it's important to have well-developed leaders in that organization under your level two heading for LDP elements you might talk about some things such as leadership and management theory and skills. For example, going into some of the, the coaching techniques and change management. And then you might talk about strategy and how leaders develop strategy, what strategy is, why it's important to the organization. And then, of course, you may go into a section on talent management since a leadership development program is supposed to be able to create leaders that can fill talent gaps throughout the organization and the executive and director levels as they arise. So once you define the impact that leaders should make and you've gone over the elements of a leadership development program, the next thing you want to be able to do is tie the circle back together by going into ways to assess that program and make sure you're developing the leaders that meet the strategic goals of the organization. And to do that, you want to be able to evaluate those leaders somehow. So you would look into some articles that talk about employee performance measurement and evaluation. You would want to evaluate the actual program and so there you would go into uh, articles that talk about how to develop curriculum, how to measure the outcome of that curriculum or that program or that course. And then maybe go into some stuff about consultants and how you can have an outside consultant come in and do an assessment on your behalf. So now that I've created my mind map, uh, which just gives me a visual depiction of what my literature view might look like, I can go out and start finding different journals or looking through different types of journals or databases to find articles that are relevant to my level two and level three headings that are outlined above. So as I start searching in different journal databases, I come across leadership journals and in those articles on leadership, I, I learn more about the motivating employees factor mentioned above, about the leadership theory and skills. Uh, I go into management journals and I can find things on strategy development, strategic direction, managing resources. In the psychology journals, I can see more about leadership theories, motivating employees. In the education journal, I can go in and find out how to appropriately assess curriculum, develop a curricu curriculum for the program. In the HR journals, we can find things on employee performance measurement. In the research journal, we can find ways that consultants go out and assess programs. Uh, because this particular organization is a government organization, we can look in public administration journals and find articles on leadership in public organizations that belong to the government and see how those, what those articles have to add. And then finally, of course, because the U.S. Air Force is a military organization, we can go into journals on military studies and find articles on military strategy, military leadership, and, and tie all of this back together on why this is important for this specific type of organization.
So in the end, what we have is a mind map and a very good outline that shows us what our literature review might look like and where to start. It, it takes the problem and it breaks it down into something that's more manageable and easier to go out and find literature relevant to your topics. And then you can really start bringing all the literature in, synthesizing it together, see where it contrasts, see where it compares, and, and write that all up in your narrative. So now that you've seen problem one and you have a better idea of what we're doing, I'm going to introduce problem two in a slightly different manner uh, to make sure it hits home on, on how to find different sources and different journals and break down your topic. So we're going to go to the more aviation related problem this time. Uh, in this case, we're going to look at the gender imbalance in the aircraft maintenance technician career field. So for our level two headings on this research, uh, we're going to do it a little bit differently. Where we're going to narrow the topic down through our literature review. So at first, we're going to talk about the overall broad women in science, technology, engineering, and math. And then we're going to narrow that down to that piece of science, which is aviation. And then we're going to narrow it down in aviation to aircraft maintenance specifically. And unlike our previous example, I want to start with the journal types here because I want to make the connection between the topics and the different types of journals. So for this example, we're going to delve into economic, science, medical, education, human resources, government documents, which are not journals, uh, sociology journals, and military studies journals. So when looking at women in STEM, I can look in government documents to find stuff from the Bureau of Labor Statistics on how many women are in STEM fields. I can also look in science journals to see how many women are in STEM type jobs. There's plenty of studies on that right now on minorities and gender diversity in STEM fields. And you can actually also find that in some education journals. And then I can look in sociology journals, talk about workplace diversity and how women are spread out and, and some of the uh, perceptions of that. As I narrow my review down to the women in aviation, I can look at pilots first since that's the fastest growth area in aviation with women in it. And so we can see how women are growing there, how that transformation has taken place, and you can find that in different science journals, aviation journals. And then we can look at some of the FAA demographics. The FAA website has a bunch of nice documents on there that show demographics. Uh, you can find where women are most predominantly in flight attendant jobs right now. and the maintenance field is, I think, 2.5% or something like that. And then uh, you can also look in military studies journals because uh, the women spike in aviation was largely, largely driven by World War II and, and military aviation. You can get a lot of great data there. And as you narrow down your topic to women in aircraft maintenance specifically, you're going to have a lot more trouble finding exact literature on that topic. And that's okay because all we want to do is show that we've reviewed the literature to see how women fit into aircraft maintenance. And so we might start with some of the medical journals where it talks about physical limitations or, or some of the physiological impact that women in, in maintenance jobs around exhaust or gas, if that impacts pregnancy and things like that. Uh, we can look at economic journals uh, where we talk about the aircraft maintenance workforce and how the industry is growing in size and the economic impact that will create and how that will free up jobs for women to apply for. And then we can look at women potential to fill those gaps, what women can bring to the field, and you can find that in HR journals, um, how women can bring the same thing as men or how certain talents that women have might be more beneficial to this field. So what we end up with is another problem that has a clearly mapped out literature review path ahead for the student researcher um, to, to come out with articles and find literature that connects to the problem that shows they fully understand the problem when they make the recommendations, conclusions, and try to interpret their data. I hope the presentation was helpful. Uh, literature reviews can be somewhat intimidating, especially for, for those who are not as familiar with conducting literature reviews. Uh, by following those simple mind mapping tactics, uh, it can really make your, your life a lot easier as you start to embark on this journey of collecting literature that supports your problem. If you have any questions, please contact your instructor and they should be able to help you with uh, understanding better the information in this presentation and applying that to your actual project.